You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodriguez for our Black and White Sports 2. Well, we're going to talk about ESPN analyst Mark Jackson, also a former NBA player. He was a good NBA player. Uh, he was a damn good uh, NBA coach. And um, there's been a lot of rumors out there over time that Mark Jackson has actually been blackballed out of the NBA. From a coaching standpoint, Mark Jackson is very religious. We've done a couple of videos on that. But what we've also done a shit ton of videos on is not only Brittany Griner, but not understanding how the WNBA works. In a lot of cases, also women's soccer and most professional women's leagues of any kind. You see, people start talking salary. They start making salary demands uh, for a league that uh, doesn't have the revenue to increase the salary significantly in any way. Why? pretty simple it's math people don't give a shit about the wnba so they're not watching bill burr once made a very hilarious joke about the fact look if the wnba was truly popular it'd be full of like feminist and 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 i don't know if he said lesbians attending the games but if he didn't he should have anyway point being we're going to talk about a famous lesbian here uh in this story Let's get to this, because he's demanding that the league pays more money so people like Brittany Griner can make more money. Yeah, it doesn't have to go overseas. Now, my gut feeling is the WNBA would have to play pay players an average of about 10 times more than they're making right now to keep them from going overseas. And I'm going to show you some things that tells you I just don't believe the revenue is there unless the NBA just flat pays for it. Now, Mark Jackson does make a a uh, a statement in this about the NBA subsidizing the league and uh, how he doesn't want to see that happen either. Interesting. I don't know. You can't have it always. Former NBA player and coach Mark Jackson thinks it's high time for the National Women's National Basketball League to pay their star players more in lieu of the horrible Brittany Griner saga. Jackson spoke with TMZ. The former Golden State Warriors coach said he doesn't agree with taking money from the WNBA or the NBA to make it more equitable to fund WNBA salaries. He does think women players are entitled to more money in the United States to ensure they don't need to play overseas to live comfortably. Quote, I think we need to pay the women more, obviously. They certainly deserve it. Their talent level certainly demands it. I'm pulling for them to get every dollar they deserve, and I am more than willing to do whatever we have to to make that possible. He says, just don't dig in the NBA's pockets. Brittany Griner, like a lot of professional women's basketball players, supplements her WNBA income by playing overseas and offseason. Griner was with the Russian Premier League when she attempted to bring a small amount of medical hashious oil aboard a flight which kicked off her entire ordeal. Quote, I think we have to be more aware of where where we're going, Jackson told TMZ. Even President Joe Biden's speech about Brittany, he said exactly that. Biden made the controversial decision to free Griner in a prisoner swap with the Russian government for convicted arms dealer Victor Bout, the merchant of death. The WNBA paid Griner's entire salary while incarcerated. She gets locked up for breaking another country's law, and she gets her entire salary paid. What a weird, strange world we're living in right now. Griner is currently relaxing on a military base with her wife. She has pledged to to aid all Wrongly, wrongly incarcerated Americans, including former United States Marine Paul Whelan. Okay, so let's just take a look at this real fast, okay? Uh, very easily, some simple math. Um, this is the NBA. This is NBA attendance, okay, uh, for last year. Now, this is just average attendance, the Bulls, 20,882, okay, 
99.8% capacity. And then down to, uh, let's go all the way down to the Pacers. Their average uh, uh, drawing was 14,360. Now, I went to look at this. Hell, I thought it was a joke. I really did. I had to go look at a couple of other places because I was like, are you shitting me? How are they still in business? I know they're living off the NBA's teat, but my God, these attendance figures are terrible for the WNBA. This is this year. The top team in the WNBA is not even, well, drawing a hair smidge over half what the Bulls are. Woke Seattle. Seattle Storm. 10,631 average attendance. Phoenix Mercury, 7,974, second most attended team. The least most, also Indiana. I thought they loved basketball in Indiana. 1,776 fans on average go see the Indi- Indiana Fever, they're called. Now, NBA ratings, and this is where the real money comes from, okay? Uh, Because it's all about television contracts. The uh, NBA on ABC package averages, let's just call it 3 million viewers, and that's went up. ESPN's 1.4, that's went up. TNT, 1.4. These are all million, okay? (laughs) 1.4 million viewers, 3.03 million viewers. WNBA. Their viewership over the Disney networks, ABC, ESPN, ESPN2, and CBS Television Network, they're up 16% over last year. Still, their average viewers is 379,000. So they're basically uh, five times lower than the NBA on viewers. And in the case of ABC... About nine times lower, okay? Uh, So, that right there, that right there tells you something. Um, And that's where all the money is, right? It's it's in television contracts, and it's in attendance, right? Revenue, et cetera, revenue generated more money. These NBA players are getting paid a lot more money than the uh, WNBA players. So, the, the point is, look... It's long since been known that the WNBA would not exist if it was not for the help, the teat, of the NBA. Plain and simple. You see these these television revenue, uh, these television viewership numbers, and you see the attendance numbers. I mean, my God, some of them play. I mean, how are these teams still playing, for crying out loud? Um, And these players are still making $102,000 in salary. Every year, on average, 102000 is the average salary per year. That's a pretty good living for a lot of people. A lot of everyday folks would love $102,000 to live off of. Uh, Brittany Griner, I think, might have been getting paid the most. I don't know. Um, in the league, but nonetheless, the point is this is all driven by interest level. There's nothing anybody can do to force eyeballs onto women's sports more than it is plain and simple if people were all in and all interested in it the numbers would be higher okay this league's been around 20 years it's not like people don't know the league doesn't exist because the nba tries to promote it but nobody wants to watch okay and in turn the revenue's not as high in turn the salaries of the players not as high and the reason they go overseas pretty simple In Europe, Asia, and Russia, overseas, any kind of basketball, women's included, there's more interest in. So that's why they can go to Russia, somebody like Brittany Griner, and make a million bucks. I mean, the demand is there over there, overseas. It's not here. I don't see any way... The WNBA can raise salaries without just flat letting the NBA pay for it. I mean, plain and simple. I mean, that's the NBA would ha- it, it would have to be like that joke of a uh, revenue sharing program that that U.S. Soccer's got now, where uh, the better the men men does or whatever their salary is, the women get a portion of it regardless. 
I mean, it's just robbery. I mean, the interest isn't there either. It's the same kind of thing. So it's just like, okay, we'll just give it to you for the hell of it. That's literally what has happened in soccer. We'll give it to you for the hell of it. Sports is a revenue, you know, it's a, it's a revenue-driven business based on su- supply and demand. The interest is, of course, the demand. And the demand's not there. So, Mark Jackson, that's great. You want it to happen. You don't want the NBA to help. So, how would you like this to happen again, Mark Jackson? I don't know. Uh, And again, what we're not talking about here is, Brittany Griner, had you not taken cannabis oil and vape cartridges into Russia, you're not incarcerated. You broke Russian law. I mean, it's it's not that hard. It's really not. It's crazy as hell. But this same argument keeps coming up over and over again, and evidently people still can't fucking figure it out. Tell me what you think, black and white sports supporters. Hope you had a Merry Christmas. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Peace. I'm out. Till next time, Black and White Network supporters, make sure you go over and check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. 25% off USA First. 25% off USA First. Go now. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.